My speech is from Mary Fisher in the 1992 Republican National Convention Address. Less than three months ago, at platform hearings in Salt Lake City, I asked the Republican Party to lift the shroud of silence, which has been draped over the issue of HIV and AIDS. I have come tonight to bring our silence to an end. I bear a message of challenge, not self-congratulation. I want your attention, not your applause. I would never have asked to be HIV positive, but I believe that in all things there is a purpose. And I stand before you and before the nation gladly. The reality of AIDS is brutally clear. 200,000 Americans are dead or dying. A million more are infected. Worldwide, 40 million, 60 million, or 100 million infections will be counted in the coming few years. But to but despite science and research, White House meetings and congressional hearings, despite good intentions and bold initiatives, campaign slogans and hopeful promises, it is, despite it all, the epidemic which is winning tonight. In the context of an election year, I ask you, here in this great hall or listening to the quiet of your home, to recognize that AIDS virus is not a political creature. It, is, it does not care whether you are a Democrat or a Republican. It does not, not ask whether you are black or white, male or female, gay or straight, young or old. Tonight, I represent, represent an AIDS community whose members have been reluctantly drafted from every segment of the American society. Though I am white and a mother, I am one with a black infant struggling with tubes in a Philadelphia hospital. Though I am female and contracted this disease in marriage and enjoy the warmth, the warm support of my family, I am one with the lonely gay man sheltering a flickering candle from the cold wind of his family's rejection. This is not a distant threat. It is a present danger. The rate of infection is increasing fastest among women and children. Largely unknown a decade ago, AIDS is the third leading killer of young adult Americans today. But it won't be third for long. Because unlike other diseases, this one travels. Adolescents don't give each other cancer or heart disease because they believe they're in love. But HIV is different. And we have helped it along. We have killed each other with our ignorance, our prejudice, and our silence. We may take refuge in our stereotypes, but we cannot hide there long, because HIV asks only one thing of those it attacks. Are you human? And this is the right question. Are you human? Because people with AIDS have not entered some alien state of being. They are human. They have not earned cruelty, and they do not deserve meanness. They don't benefit from being isolated or treated as outcasts. Each of them is exactly what God made, a person. Not evil, deserving of our judgment, not victims longing our pity. People, ready for support and worthy of compassion. The lesson history teaches is this. If you believe you are safe, you are at risk. If you do not see this killer stalking your children, look again. There is no family or community, no race of religion, no place left in America that is safe. Until we genu genuinely embrace this message, we are a nation at risk. Thank you.